a show match between Heroes War, Spanish team, and Well Met, a uh, German team composed out of uh, StarCraft II pros. And, um, well, this is well, kind of out of ranking for the uh, Premier League, but uh, just for fun, just a show match, since uh, Vega Squadron couldn't play tonight. And um, afterwards, we'll continue with the regular matches, which will be um, Mouse Sports versus My Insanity. But first, we'll have a best of three show match between Heroes War and Well Met. So, um, um, unfortunately, we don't have a. Um, Fortunately, we don't have a draft for these guys, but um, I'll just show you uh, the process in the making in the lobby. And uh, we have the first ban for Heroes War, which was Brightwing. And well met, banned Stitches. Stitches. Okay, um, I'm kind of surprised by the Brightwing ban. But uh, Stitches uh, is, is a good ban. Okay, going, going for Arthas uh, then uh, for Heroes War uh, with the first pick and um, well met goes for Tassada and Uther. Oh, really good pick. Uh, both of these teams picking uh, really strong uh, initial characters here. Um, Tassada and Uther of course uh, one of the most uh, regularly picked at least in EU. Then we have Rhaegar and Tychus for Heroes War. Yeah. So a good combination for Bloodlust if they want to go for that. Yeah, uh, but um, since they have Arthas as well, Arthas synergizes really well with Bloodlust actually. So that might be a really good way to go for. Mm -hmm. Alright, next picks will be for Well Met. Exactly. Um, let's talk a little bit about the Brightwing ban actually you mentioned mm -hmm. it a little bit earlier I think it's not that of a good ban overall uh, like uh, just in general maybe it's a good ban against this team especially but um, I'm not that sure to be honest mm -hmm. because Brightwing of course is a very good support but uh, normally you would like to ban like Uther or uh, if you yeah. want to go for a support ban Brightwing or is not gonna be, she's not going to be a first pick, and since uh, well, since she's not going to be uh, well, not not a first pick, but not a first support pick. Um, so I uh, well, I, I do have to agree with you. All right, uh, next picks should be coming in here for well met. They're taking their dear time with this. Yeah, um, they could go for uh, like stitches, Nubarak. Uh, just basically some kind of tank, or uh, they maybe uh, will try to go um, for a um, assassin right away. Mm -hmm. Maybe a Vala or even um, ah, I'm not sure with that, but uh, Reno would be a possibility. Okay. Since I know that um, Hazu Ops really likes to go for Reno. And he's a very good one as well. He's like uh, rank 3 or 4 on hot slots in the Hero League. With Raynor? Uh, no, no, uh, overall. Just in regular, but, okay. But he plays a lot of Raynor and mm -hmm. Tychus and these kinds of ranged assassins. Alright. Wow, they're really taking, uh, I think, they're taking the maximum amount of time. Uh, I don't think we have the timer, uh, but it's all handed by our admin, uh, Inklin. So she probably watches out that everything's going according to plan. Um, let's talk a little bit about these teams. I think um, well met. Uh, we've seen well met uh, the first time on Sunday when they played in the ESL Heroes of the uh, Storm Community Cup, and uh, they went on towards the uh, third round. Uh, got beaten by Polish Kappa, but um, initially uh, beat a, uh, I think, Bulgarian team, not too sure, and Ukrainian team with fast forward. And as far as Heroes War goes, I think they've been uh, one of the longest uh, standing teams in Europe. And it's a Spanish team. They beat an Italian team, Decima Esports Heroes, uh, in the first round, and then. Um, 
unfortunately succumbed to and faculty went on to actually win the entire cup so they probably have a pretty strong team up uh, up their sleeve yeah i've seen them as well in a um, spanish tournament there were actually like hardware prizes some i think it was five mouses for the winner team okay and um, they won it heroes war or in faculty yeah heroes war okay and, mm -hmm. and faculty only won the esl cups uh the last two twice uh, like one time <laughs> every cup. Um, how long have they been playing the ESL Cups? Um, I think for... It's three or four cups already for them. But I think it's only three. Um, they got like second on their first or so. Uh, I don't remember exactly, but uh, it was uh, in that kind of fashion. I will look it up now. Uh, we have the next picks for Well Met. It's Tyrael and Feldstad. Alright, so uh, we have Tyrael, Feldstad, Rega, and uh, no wait, uh, Tassada and Uther. Hmm. So, um, I don't know, um, probably need an assassin. Um, and we have Nubarak and Reyna for Heroes, for Heroes War. War. Yeah, as I talked about earlier, um, Reyna is really good with Bloodlust because yeah, he re relies so much on only D DPS by uh, auto-attacking. Okay, and with Reyna being picked, uh, Hasuops can't go for him. <laughs> so that's good <laughs> for Heroes War, I guess. Yeah. Um, I'm... Ah, I'm not really sure what uh, ah, they don't, um, what um, well Matt is going to go for as the next hero. They already have some kind of damage. They could go for a bruiser. Shen even might be viable, but I'm not sure. Yeah, uh, since they can't go for um, a Nubarak, I think a Nubarak would have been a good choice for them. Because they already have some kind of stun and Nubarak some kind of synergizes as well with Falset. Uh, but Nubarak is already picked. Yeah, for yeah, I know. Uh, oh, I okay. know. I just would have been a good choice. Yeah, yeah. Well, since Stitches is banned, <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know. But I gotta say that Heroes War picked a really good lineup here, and Zagara for Well Met. Okay. So, uh, just recapitulating, um, we have Arthas, uh, Rhaegar, Tychus, Reyna, and Anubarak for Heroes War. And we have Tyrael, Feldstead, Tassada, Zagara, and Uther for Well Met. So, well, I, I guess both these um, compositions are, are solid. Um, maybe a little bit of an edge for, for Heroes War. Yeah, I think so too. Um, just yeah, more solid, but um, solid isn't always the key to win. Uh, always uh, you can go for some kind of non-standard strategies and surprise a little bit, especially with the Zagara for um, well met. And by the way, we are playing on Cursed Hollow, so uh, there will be a lot of tribute fights, uh, of which uh, Falset uh, benefits a little bit, of course, mm -hmm. and. Um, Uther as well with but then on the other hand you uh, have the deep dive with a new barak and that's also pretty good uh, to get these tributes uh, at least if your team can catch up to you yeah they definitely have to make that happen they have to work together uh, synergize and get in there at the right the right time just at the right time okay is everyone ready Ready up, everyone. Yeah, I think almost everyone's ready here. Um, a possibility for Heroes War could be to go roaming with um, Tychus and Anubarak. Mm -hmm. um, would not be uh, too strong because Tychus has no stun, obviously, but his displacement with, uh, um, with the grenade obviously uh, adds a lot of uh, potential damage output. Yeah. For them. 
And if you really need it, you uh, you do have the sun from Manuberak, and you can get away uh, with a grenade uh, from Tychus. All right, loading into Cursed Hollow, and don't uh, remember this is a show match. So um, let's hope these guys have some fun, show some amazing play, and um, after that we'll be back with a regular game, uh, Mouse Sports versus My Insanity, our uh, final game for tonight for the um, Heroes Premier League here on uh, Nexus Champ. First, let's enjoy the show game. I hope they uh, just got to pull off some uh, not standard moves, maybe, yep. uh, to yep. surprise us. That would be nice. All right, let's get it started. Our blue team on the left side is well met. Just going to fix the overlay. There we go. Well met, uh, newly formed German team um, composed out of uh, SC2 Pro players. And we have Felstad in the top lane. Material in the middle and bottom with Uther, Zagara, and Tassadar. On the other hand, um, our red team, Heroes War, Spanish team, and there we have Rainer in the top lane, Arthas, Nubarak, and Rhaegar in the middle lane, and bottom lane is featuring Tychus. Yeah, um, it looks like um, Wellmet is gonna try to gank up bottom but nobody is there yep <laughs> <laughs> and a uh, little bit of a gank possibility here for heroes war in the middle but no nope, looks like they're also moving down maybe catching uh, some of these heroes that are rotating lanes uh, that's not gonna work though yeah. we have Tychus uh, taking bottom and just staying back uh, just getting the XP and I think he saw Tessa that there so he knows what's up and should just play it super safe uh, it looks like uh, Arthas and uh, Anubarak are moving down and maybe Tychus oh, or Zagara. This might work out really nice line stun. They're all lining up, everyone's lining up there. And, oh, Anub comes in, getting stunned by Uther though. And, yeah, everyone's moving back for now. Uh, kind of a missed possibility there. Yeah, even more damage uh, being dealt by well met uh, to Arthas, so pretty nicely done by them. Oh, and Tychus is getting hit pretty hard here. But so far, no Mystic XP for either of these teams. Um, everyone just uh, on top of things. And <laughs> Rhaegar just rotating in the middle lane here. <laughs> uh, let's check out how Reyna is doing against Falstead. I think they're pretty evenly matched here. Um, of course, uh, with this ability to uh, boost his minions, uh, he can push a little bit further in. Uh, but Falstead can, of course, uh, just keep everything, uh, keep everything in line here. Yeah, as long as there will be no bait on top lane, nothing big is gonna happen. Yeah, but they're putting on a decent amount of uh, pressure here on the bottom lane. Uh, already taken out uh, both of these towers, as far as ammo is concerned. And the first tower is gonna fall for sure. Gate might actually fall if it's only Tychus that's defending here. Yes, I yeah. think it will. And the um, second tower also going down. Wow, so much pressure putting on here by uh, Wellmet. Yeah, um, even the easy camp didn't help out fast enough, so they would have been maybe better off just uh, helping themselves and yeah, not Heroes indirectly. wants to get a gank on here. Zagara is moving out of position, but she has the creep tumor there, and uh, with that, I think they're going to be in a good spot uh, to not fall to this trap. Oh. Okay, Zagara is uh, staying back uh, pretty nicely, so... Uh, no problems for her. Tribute spawning now on the top of the map. It looks like... Yeah, here is War moving up there immediately. Yeah, everyone trying to get into position. Well met is a little bit later there. But um, they have Falstaff already on top. He could jump in. Not really worth it though, so he's just gonna fly over there. And whoops. Good positioning here for Heroes War. They're just pushing everyone back, trying to gather around the Tribute. Yeah, and seems like, oh, pretty nice uh, interrupt here by Hasuops. Yeah, nice interrupt. Good good job by Hasuops getting the storm off there. Uh, can you get another interrupt off? Yes, Turiel can. But there comes the stun. Arthas gets a jump on him, but he gets away. And Rainer keeps pushing everyone back. So no one's really grabbing this tribute so far. Um, yeah, but that's turning out pretty good for a well met, actually, because uh, Zucker on the bottom with Zagara is pushing the forward. Um, oh, and another interrupt here, and Hasuops even gets away there. Oh, pretty nice interrupt there from from Falset. 
Even yeah, but I think they're finally gonna get in. Um, but you're right, I mean, Zagara did a lot of damage here. They will push down this fort now, and the first tribute is not as crucial, so it's alright that uh, Heroes War got this tribute. And I think just because of Zagara uh, laning there, uh, they are almost one level ahead now. Pretty nice decision making, and the fort's almost about to fall now. And this might pay off in the end, because if you think about it, if they're a level ahead, they might get the earlier level 10, and then they can take the second tribute easily. Yeah. Hmm. So I think uh, Wellmet is just waiting for the tribute to spawn now, or um, on the bottom lane uh, to get like Tigers out of position and be able to gank him there with his stun off Hiroku. Yeah, I think they just want to put an end to uh, to Zagara there in the bottom lane, but Ufer is with her, Tassada also with her, they're just waiting to gank up on them, and Tychus has taken a lot of damage, but oh, Arthas moves in and tanks everything, uh, Noob also there in order to uh, to stun if needed, but uh, wow, they have really good positioning uh, on the second tribute. Uh, this is actually a crucial tribute, Tyrael should get there right away here for well met, otherwise they might lose the second tribute as well, Falsa is flying over. And uh, I think they should be moving in any second now. But the bottom fort falls, and it looks like um, well, Matt is going to be able to just interrupt them as long oh, as they are not. Vega out of position together. a little bit there, and they will get a nice interrupt off uh, again if needed. Well, Arthas moves in. There's the stun, almost getting Vega, but he gets away. Oh, maybe not quite. Nomi's on, on the hunt, but Arthas uh, tries to stop it, and he gets a lot. He gets just a lot of damage. Ooh, so barely getting away here from here as well, but it looks like Arthas is gonna fall. Oh, maybe not? Maybe not. Oh, yeah. With the Zagara helping out, they can take him out. No problem. Yeah. And they're getting get the, the tribute first now. tribute here. For Wellmet. Yeah, and Wellmet is almost level 10 now, uh, so they won't even go for the hard cam, maybe? And just try to get the opposing one. Ah, oh, no, it doesn't look like that. No. That would have been quite risky going for the yeah. uh, opposing hard camp right now. Um, they're gonna grab their own tower, get a little bit of vision back, and maybe go for uh, that next engagement, kind of force the next engagement to happen here in the middle lane, putting on a lot of pressure. Um, maybe if they can get the fort down, uh, the, the gate down, uh, to just get get Heroes War out of here. They want to have that engagement right now before Heroes War is level 10. Yeah, and they're doing quite well already uh, getting the gate and the second tower now. And uh, but the hard camp is moving in. And with the help of the hard camp, I think uh, Hero Sport can, can stand this assault. Yeah, but there are only three, uh, but uh, yeah, Arthas is moving in now. But they still need Raynor on top to get level 10 faster. Yeah, Raynor's really doing a really good job soaking up that experience in the top lane. Um, Arthas is now missing in bot, so they're, they're kind of missing that, and now with the hard camp gone, I think they do need Arthas here in the middle lane uh, to uh, actually keep their fort from falling. Yeah, and next tribute is spawning, and it, is, and it looks like well, Matt is gonna go for the tribute, not overextending into the for now, since, uh, well, Matt, uh, since Heroes War is gonna be level 10 very soon. Let's see how, go about how they go about this. Everyone's waiting in the bushes. And wow, Tychus moves in. Oh, he's not careful. And there is the final go. Nomi takes him out. Uh, that was just way too easy. Yeah, maybe even a little bit wasted here. Um, yeah. The judgment from... But the counterplay, I, I like it a lot. He's, they're going for the boss. Uh, meanwhile, Melmet also going for uh, the opposing team's boss. So uh, just counter pressure on both sides. Uh, well, Matt, of course, a little bit ahead as far as experience is concerned, but not too much. Yeah. Um, I think both teams are gonna get the forts, like, um, Well, Matt is gonna get the top fort and the, easy, uh, the bottom fort. It's gonna be taken out by Heroes War. Yeah, they're just mashing through everything here. Um, the boss still has a lot of energy left since he's supported by the entire team, almost the entire team. Tyke is just now moving in. Um, and they will get the fort. And looks like, uh, wow, well met is split pushing here. Since they already got the gates down in the middle lane, uh, it's going to be easy for them to just take up this fort since it's not defended. And top fort as well, just Felstead and Boss bashing on that. But the tribute is spawning, next tribute is spawning, and it's in a good position here for Heroes War. They already had set up for the next fight, and they finally got their level 10s as well. Two forts now falling here. 
really nicely done. But oh wow! What? The five fuck? hero wow, that's impossible! Wow, there comes the divine storm! Oh my god! Well met just on fire here, and they get the final tribute. Red team. Jesus! Wow, that was amazing! Really nice play. They can go for the easy camp. Uh, of the opponents and just push through this uh, bottom lane here. Um, everything's just gone in the bottom lane. Maybe they can. Oh, well, we're still early in the game. Uh, cooldowns are just way too fast, so I, I don't think they can push through here, but uh, I think Hero Squad is going to take a lot of damage from this. Wow, I'm still speechless. Incredible more. Yeah, that was just an amazing more. Um, Hero Squad is not going to make that same mistake again. That was just insane. Everyone stacked up in one position. Um, you can't play that way against uh, against Zagara. Yeah, and that's what makes her so strong on this map as well. Just like the combo with all set. But now everyone's on retreat. Uh, Cassidy will definitely get away, but I think they might need to uh, need someone to stop everything here. And Nomi is the one that sacrifices himself. Whoa! Maybe not. Maybe not. Can you get away? Another dash, maybe? Oh, the Banshees uh, are still firing. Yeah, the Banshees are just doing so much damage. And there we go, final kill coming in. Um, he's not going to get too much damage done. Yeah, they already stopped their clumping up. And meanwhile, we had the top fort being taken out just by the go Grave Golem himself. And uh, actually, Fault Set helped a little bit as well. So, yeah, pretty nicely done here for a well met. Although they got uh, in a really bad position. Yeah, and now all the camps are being taken here um, by Womat. So a lot of pressure incoming here, and uh, Heroes War has to stay back, st has to stay a little bit more defensive. Uh, unfortunately though, uh, the timer on their hard camp is almost up, so they do have to capture the hard camp, otherwise uh, it's going to be a Womat that are going to that are going to go for that as well, and that would hurt, seriously hurt them. Yeah, now we have level 16 for Womat, so uh, another round of very good talents for them. So they are trying to engage now. But yeah, pretty good disengage here by Heroes War. Since they are two levels down, they really shouldn't fight. In yeah, they don't want to overextend here. But yeah, again, not grabbing that hard camp, I think it's going to hurt them. Tyrael is already moving in. Yeah, the entire Wellmet team is moving in. And oh, and ooh, well, the they, should, they should get this hard camp, no problems. The position would be so good for another more now, uh, if, if Heroes War is... Just yeah, but they're, they're trying to stay away from that position. Oh, well, maybe. Anubarak and Arthas are really bunching up there. Uh, they're going to grab the hard camp, though. No problems. And with the hard camp, they can go for that uh, pushing potential. Yeah, um, maybe they're even going to get the fort. It pretends on if Anubarak just tries to engage now. But oh, nice uh, stun there. Getting Zagara and Falstead at the same time. Arthas tries to go for the engage. And there's a deep dive by Anub, but he's overextending by a lot. Whoa, so good to take him out. Another Maw there on top. Arthas can escape, but there comes the Divine Storm, and they will get Arthas. Odin form uh, maybe saves him for a little bit, but Morrowind's going down. And now Raynor and uh, Rhaegar on the retreat. Yeah. And if you're right, Middle Fort just going down oh so quickly here. And they still have the easy camp pushing. Oh. They're even going for the bottom forward, so it doesn't look like they're trying uh, to end the game already. Although I think they would have had uh, enough. Yeah, but they probably would have had a 5v2, uh, still 10 second cooldown on, on some of these vital heroes. Uh, Anub is back, so that helps out, but all three forts gone. Well, Matt is just on fire tonight. Yeah. Um, looks like they're just gonna grab the next tribute with false set. Yeah, uh, false set is already there. So they can just go for the boss. Uh, respawn timers up. So going for the uh, for the close boss. And oh, this is gonna spell doom for Heroes War. They have to stay back, but at the same time they know, okay, they're gonna go for the boss. Maybe we can force a fight here. Uh, maybe we can make it happen if we have a good initiative. Yeah, but Ooh. such a good position now again for uh, more from Zagara. Yeah, and that yeah, they're letting the boss be and just go for the Nexus, and they, I think they will get the snipe here. Yeah, it looks like only 66% left. Oh, Uther, Uther's gonna go for the Divine Storm to stop him. Uh, well, maybe not. I think they changed their mind in the middle. Okay, uh, huge dive here going down on the Garabin. Oh, and there's more grabbing two heroes, 
and there's the Divine Storm. Tychus goes down, Rhaegar might be the next one to fall. No, it's a noob, and Arf is getting so much damage down there. Wow. Felstead will get the hunt here on Arthas. He will go down as well. And then they can just snipe down the Nexus. Oh, oh wow, Arthas gets Arthas away. Stone. So close. Nomi tries oh, to. Oh, Nomi gets the final blow there. Nicely done there by Nomi. So, in the yeah. end, only one kill for Heroes War. But it seemed like it was a lot closer sometimes. Yeah, uh, especially right. in, in the mid game. But late game, I think, uh, well matches ruled everything. They were on fire. I mean, that initial uh, that initial fight with the uh, with the maw. Wow, amazing! Really, really good, uh, really good fight. All right, I think um, first map choice went to well met, so it should be Heroes War that has map choice now. And I hope we'll get in the game pretty soon. All right, so <clears throat> what can Heroes War do in the next game to to make it happen? I think they just have to position better, because um, sometimes in the fights they there was a, like a big disarray, and they weren't in the position they should be, and just got focused down one by one. We saw it, for example, when um, Anubarak just dived in. Uh, and everybody still stayed back. Yeah. Yeah. He just Not died. really synchronized as far as these, these team engagements go. I mean, the timing on the camps and everything was, was all right. Um, but the decision making for, for the team fights just was a little bit off. Because you, you need to have the shot caller saying, okay, time to initiate now. And everyone moves in once, once the noob gets in there, for example. Alright, are they already in game? I don't think so. Um, let me uh, check. No, doesn't look like it. Alright, um, then we'll go on a quick commercial break and we'll be right back with the second part of the show match here. Well met versus Heroes War on Nexus Champ and after that we're back with the final game for tonight in the Heroes Premier League week 6 uh, on EU and that's gonna be Mouse Boards versus My Insanity. Stay tuned.
Alright guys, we're back with the second show match here between Heroes War and Wellmet. Uh, Wellmet, of course, taking that last game, um, yeah, pretty um, convincingly, I gotta say. Um, after the mid-game, they just, wow, taking amazing team fights, um, stomping over everything. Um, okay, and we're already getting started here with the drafting process, so let's jump into it. I think, yeah, first ban by well met was Stitches, just like last game. And, oh, Heroes War this time going for Uther. Yeah, um, Stitches ban might uh, show us once more that they go f want to go for Zagara, because normally Stitches is not that of a big deal if you fight, uh, uh, if you normally play against another team, but if you go for Zagara or these kinds of really squishy heroes, uh, with not that much escape, Stitches has to be banned. Mm -hmm. Or at least picked by yourself. Okay, um, first pick for where Matt is Tassada. And Hasuops did a good job playing Tassada last game, so um, I think that was a good good first pickup for well Matt. Yeah, um, maybe they're gonna go uh, Heroes War is gonna go, um, yeah, maybe Arthur's, like, I don't expect anything out of the ordinary, more the kind of standard heroes, since that was what they win the game before. And on Black Hearts Bay there are not that many options to choose from to go, like, yeah, crazy, <laughs> basically. <laughs> Like the triple um, specialist combo we see from Empire all day. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, they're taking the time for the first two picks here. And it's Tigers and Tyrael. Okay, so just like last game. Uh, I think so. I didn't wrote it down, but uh, yeah. they played with Tigers and Tyrael. So, yeah, they're gonna go for their Odin again. <clears throat> Maybe even. Ah, I don't think they're gonna go for the Bloodlust, since uh, if you go for Bloodlust, Arthas is a way better choice than uh, Turel. But mm -hmm. they could st still go for it. It's not that of a big deal. Um, how do you think mobility rates on Blackheart's Bay? Because I don't know. I feel like it's it's. Uh really important but I don't know I don't know really why yeah the thing is uh, it depends on how you want to play a game um, you can just uh, in the in the beginning you don't have to absolutely roam but um, if you have for example a Tassadar you are normally Tassadar going for both of the top lanes at least uh, in the early to mid game, and everybody else is either gonna take camps or uh, roam on bottom. So that might be an option for them. Arthas and Rega or well met. Yeah. So as I just said before, uh, Arthas and Ezra is really good for the, with a bloodlust comp. So I think uh, they are gonna um, go for the bloodlust this time, since they have Arkan as well. Mm -hmm. They probably maybe go for like Raynor or some ranged DPS. Uh, will we see a noob for them this time around? Could be. Because, uh, I mean, they, they need... Well, since Stitches is gone, they... Well, they could go for a noob or... Uh, let's see who else here. Um... Well, uh, they don't act actually have to go for another tank, but yeah, since a noob isn't like the normal tank you see, is mm -hmm. more the kind of a bruiser, it could be a, a valid choice for them to go for. And since we see a noob like almost every game now, <laughs> uh, you might be right as well. I like him a lot. I mean, he's really versatile. With the dive in and, uh, and the line stun, I think he um, does a good job in pr pretty much any composition. Okay, Shen and the Twitch Doctor. 
the witch doctor. Okay, yeah, Shen is a little bit like um, a Nubarak. Of course, he he's a different hero, but <laughs> he plays a little bit the same way. He's as well some kind of bruiser, and he kind of synergizes okay with uh, Nazebo. Mm -hmm. But yeah, other than that, um, I would still rate um, a Nubarak higher than him. But let's see. Maybe they have something in mind. Uh, yeah, I'm thinking about the the first game we saw where um, we had that little exchange going on uh, the, the the base trade basically, and they have Shen, and we we saw Chen just dashing back and forth on on the on the Nexus there to try and to snipe it. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe they're going for this kind of tactic. But then again, I mean, you have the tw uh, you have the witch doctor to to put on some pressure in in one of the uh, cell lanes. But yeah. So uh, still two heroes um, for well met to be chosen. Um, they could go for yeah, as I said, another ranged uh, assassin, but um, another support. Uh, would not be like the right thing to go for. Maybe just go for two ranged assassins now, or even a bruiser as well. They could go for Kerrigan or something like that as well. But right now they only have a material for engage. So so I don't know. Maybe uh, they should go for another way to initiate fights. Yeah, they could be. But they're taking their time, just like <laughs> yeah, last definitely. game. I think they probably forgot. <laughs> <laughs> you just, just have to get the much. Time. Yeah. <laughs> That's why we have a timer on HPL. And even there, the the teams mostly take their time and don't decide immediately. Of course, um, you have to think about it a little bit. Yeah, we um, Jan talked about this uh, that they usually have one or two guys just deciding the picks and then just asking the players if they're fine with it. Okay, uh, Abathur and Rainer are the last picks here for well met, and if anyone's choosing Abathur, I'm always thinking that they have a special plan, something something planned out. Because right now they're going for Tassada, Arthas, Rega. Rainer and Abathur. Yeah, um, Abathur is a kind of French DPS, uh, <laughs> so what I talked about, but um, I'm <laughs> curious uh, about what he's gonna clone in the end. It probably will be Tassada, because every other hero, uh, maybe Rainer, but um, he can be focused down so easily, so mm. I'm not sure with that. Well, I, I do like um, I do like this combination because they can have Rainer and Abathur each taking a lane, and then have the remainder of the guys um, for roaming possibility. Yeah. On the other hand, we have uh, Malfurion as the last pick now. So, uh, yeah. Okay. Not Malfurion, Tyria, Chen, Tychus, and what was the last one? Tychus, Shen, Nazebo. Nazebo, okay. Nazebo was missing. Alright, let's get started here with the next game. Uh, it's gonna be Blackheart's Bay. We'll probably see Nazebo down on the bottom lane. And uh, yeah, maybe Shen helping him out a little bit and roaming. Shen is quite good actually on uh, Blackheart's Bay, in my opinion. Because he can do the doubloon camps and the easy cam with some help pretty good. Because of his brew, he doesn't take that much damage. So, yeah, that could be uh, a way for them to go for. Looks like we are ready now. <laughs> Alright, let's jump into the game. And on the left side, Spawned as the blue team, we have again Team Well Met, SC2 Pros, 
Uh, first off is Zake, who's playing uh, Tassada here. Then we have Hasu Ops on the Rainer, so they kind of switched roles. Then we have Pausen Clone on the uh, Rhaegar. Iroki is playing Abathur, <laughs> and Nomi is playing Arthas. Their opponents spawned on the right side here on Blackheart's Bay in red. Heroes War, the Spanish team. We have Drak here on Malfurion. Master is playing Tychus. Then we have Charade as Shen. And Tyriel is played by Jarek. And on the bot lane, Morrowind playing uh, the Zebo. Uh, interesting choice here for Heroes War to go on the very top lane. Normally you see everybody going on the mid lane, just as we see it here from well mid, because that way you can get the... They're a little bit tower. faster, and if you grab that tower um, before the opponent does, then you're not really, um, well, you're not going for those surprises, surprise attacks there. And, well, they got a little bit different setup here, uh, trying to gank the soloing hero in the top lane. I don't know if that's gonna work. Yeah, it looks like Tessada is gonna be the hero on the top lane, and he's not that easily yeah. gankable. Yeah, uh, let's see if he... He goes for clairvoyance. Oh, or actually Oracle. Um, this. Hmm. Looks oh. like we have a gang on bottom. Win well. Oh, very oh, nice. He might be oh, nice job. Nomi body blocking there so well, and he gets taken out. And good job by Abathur um, sa saving Nomi there. Yeah, really nicely done. And uh, good positioning as well from Arthas there, blocking off. And the tribute, uh, the chests have spawned. Chests have spawned, and well, not uh, actually not quite. Uh, they're gonna spawn here any second though, and everyone's returning back to the lanes. Rainer pushing really well here in, in the bottom lane. Yeah, but Since Marwin was yeah. was missing for a little bit there, uh, he did use that time uh, to get a little bit of a push on. But he has to be careful still. Uh, because maybe there is gonna be uh, um, a Chen jumping in there and rooting him down. Yeah, and Easy Camp is being taken here in the bottom lane by Master and Charade. But they still have everyone in their lane, so it's, it's all good. And wow, um, yeah, just a couple of uh, coins being taken here by Nomi. Oh, eight, eight, nine coins all on Nomi. Uh, this is actually a little bit dangerous, but right now, since they have um, really good map control, it works out so well. Wow, he's even gonna go for uh, for the easy mobs here, easy camp. Oh. And this is exactly this danger I was talking about. And I think they're missing a little bit of the map vision in, in the middle lane. Oh, okay, I think he saw him coming. Yeah, really I nicely done there by Abatha, scouting them with the mine. A little bit of experience. Uh more here for a well mid, but uh, not that much actually. Looks like they're gonna get ganked now at bottom, but I don't yeah. know. They're watching out, they're definitely watching out and doing a good job here. And Rainer and, and Tessa can stop this onslaught. Um, Arthas uh, still back here, he still has an iron coin, so he definitely wants to go for those additional coins to go for the initial barrage here by Blackbeard. Okay, so uh, um, Heroes War is gonna pay now. They're gonna have seven coins then and on the bank. And it looks like yeah, Nomi will be able to pay himself and immediately get the bombardment in. Yeah, and it's nice that they also have uh, of F the easy camp in bottom now as well. So uh, Reyna can continue uh, to hold his ground against Nazebo and maybe even push a little bit through uh, with the mobs now. Yeah, but on the other hand we have Heroes War taking the top tower now and they have now uh, as well enough coins to pay uh, after Blackheart has done has done his job. And middle gate is gonna fall. I think they even got a little bit of damage done uh, on the towers beforehand here yeah. with Rhaegar. So I think the the fort might actually fall. He still has uh, about six more shots in it. So I think it's gonna fall. Yeah, uh, really nicely done there. And it looks like they're even gonna get the hard camp bottom as well to help out the easy camp, which is already pushing. Yeah, easy camp already taking out the towers. Uh, Nazebu really needs some help down here, otherwise, this fort might fall as well. There's still a couple shots left. Uh, those did a good, decent amount of damage here on the top towers. And yeah, with the hard mobs, easy mobs, and Rainer boosting everything, they're just gonna wreck, wreck this fort if no help is incoming. Oh, but perfect. speaking yeah. about the cavalry. There they are. 
master intruder coming in, just cleaning house on these on these easy camps, and yeah, the knights are gonna fall as well. Uh, hard camp now being taken by Arthas for um, well met. On on the other hand, Sokka is defending the hard camp very easily. Tessa just has such a good wave clear, and they are almost level ten now. So um, Kuzwa well, definitely has to watch out now. Yeah, they should be. Uh, well, they should be gathering up here pretty soon. Uh, once Arthur's takes out this camp, I think they will gather up and just put on some really good pressure and just watch out that uh, Heroes War is not going for level 10 before them. Or well, actually uh, catches up to them as far as levels are. And Furion barely escapes there with uh, 4. Um, good zombie wall. And uh, now everything's moving in. There's the stun on Tychus getting him so quickly and grabbing a lot of coins in that exchange. Well done. And there's a root by Dracula. Good job uh, holding them back. Yeah, even going for the double heroics there, uh, Arkan and the um, Banshees, maybe a little bit overkill, but uh, still, they're going to be able to pay in now and yeah, get another bombardment in. Oh, wow. <laughs> right on the corner. <laughs> and uh, I think with that bombardment, the top fort should fall. Yeah, it should. Yeah. Um, even with the knights uh, helping out here. So uh, they're going to have a little bit of trouble, otherwise uh, with a gate... Uh, yeah, with the gate standing, uh, they had an easier time with these knights, but now they can just waltz in there. Ooh. And ooh, this might be a little bit dangerous here by well Uh They haven't been scouted, but uh, it looks like uh, Heroes War might actually be going for the boss position. Oh wow. There's, oh, and it pays off. By yeah. It but pays it works off. Out in the end. Yeah, you're right. It did pay off, but it, it was a close call here uh, for well Matt. Yeah, really bold. This was really risky. But they are two levels ahead now and uh, have some coins as well. They might just uh, take all the camps remaining now and keep on pushing. They don't actually have to get in a fight now uh, to win the game. They just need the coins. But it looks like... Oh, Nomi is oh, getting surrounded there. Good zombie wall. He gets out though, uh, slashes everything. And ooh, Tyrion wants to engage there, not quite getting it. There's the Odin, and ooh, Huff is moving back there, trying to get a move on on, uh, on the Zebo, but he gets away. And ooh, looks like Nomi is trapped, but Rhaegar comes in, tries to save him, he goes down in the end though. And ah, they will get a kill here on... Oh, no, he saves himself. Shen saves himself. Yeah, and clone now on uh, Rainer, but uh, he immediately goes down. But it looks like, yeah. They're gonna be able to escape. Yeah, I think Ar Arthas was a little bit over eager, and with Arthas yeah. gone, um, all of that, yeah, all of that soaking, uh, soaking potential was gone. And uh, yeah, I feel like that was the turnaround that last fight. Oh, Rega has to be really careful now, but okay, Abathur is helping him out, and it looks like they might even get Tychus now. Oh, oh uh, yeah, yeah, final shot, good yeah. job. A uh, little bit late there with the root by Malfurion. And now they have some time to uh, get these coins in. They don't have quite enough coins to actually pay up, since Nomi lost so many coins in that uh, in that last engagement. But the bottom fort is gone, so they they're still way ahead as far as experience is concerned. Oh, looks like they're trying to gank them now at their own easy camp. Maybe get in Malfurion now. Yeah. Oh yeah, Malfurion is gonna fall so quickly. Wow, he just melts away, and now they have enough coins to pay up. Uh, not quite soon, once they get that forward, and um, another couple easy mobs, and then they're good. Yeah, they're gathering uh, some more doubloons now. Exactly, like, uh, exactly right thing to do now. Already have nine, and that's exactly the amount they have to have now to get in another bombardment in from Blackheart. Yeah, Heroes was going for the hard camp, putting on some counter pressure. Uh, Catching them or getting themselves a little bit of time to uh, defend on their own, since well, I mean, the bombardment is coming in, so uh, this gate is gonna fall, and possibly this fort as well. So they do need to put on some kind of pressure. Yeah, uh, Heroes War is playing it very defensively, and like that, um, yeah, well met won't have that much uh, trouble getting all of the doubloons that are on the map. So I think Heroes War has to be a little bit more aggressive and trying to get some ganks because otherwise they'll just lose uh, to Blackheart. Oh, they're they're trapped now. Can they do it though? 
Oh, the form is already up. There come the Rain and Raiders. And oh, nice pull. Wow. Tyrael uh, goes down. And wow, Shen almost falling there, but uh, getting into his heroic form um, so quickly. Abathur will go down though. Yeah, and seven. with Abathur missing, um, then losing a little bit of that survivability potential. Oh, pass uh, Oh, wait, that actually wasn't Abathur? No. Hmm. Abathur didn't die, Hazuops oh, barely survived over there and now they got all of the coins back. Wait, I saw Abathur going down, what the heck happened there? <laughs> I don't know. He's well, they will get the coins now and um, they, they should have no problem getting uh, top and bottom chest. So lots of coins for them coming in. Uh, let's check how many coins they already have. Oh yeah, they already have enough to pay up. And this middle fort already took some damage. Um, bottom fort. Uh, losing losing their towers already. So, uh, Heroes War is definitely in trouble now. Yeah, but I think uh, if the fight would have been a little bit better for them, they could have actually... Um, they could have turned the around. Yeah. yeah. It was a close call, but it worked out in the end. I can't really tell you why. We'll have to take a look at that afterwards. But I definitely want to see what happened there with, with Abathur, because I saw him go down for some reason and then he was still alive when, I, when, I, when we checked next. Yeah, um, so two levels ahead right now, four well met. Bombardment has ended and they got the middle fort and already they're destroyed waiting for the, the gate. Gang. I thought yeah. they, wanted to go, they wanted to go for the boss, but they're just waiting for, for gank potential. I think the mind games that are going on right now are, are so, so strong. Because <laughs> they, uh, they want to trick <laughs> they want to trick Heroes War to going up there, um, checking for the boss, and then just surprise them. Well, I think they waited long enough, but they're getting in a different position. Yeah. And Abathur Ultimate Evolution is going in there as well. Good oh, engage. There yeah. comes the engage. Odin form comes out right away, and wow, nice engage here for Tyria, going straight up to Hasseops. Maybe not the best choice, but they doing a decent amount of damage on him. Tyria goes down though. And uh, Shen also took a lot of damage already. Reyna falls, and Tychus is the next one to fall. Good engagement uh, initially, but now everything's just falling apart. Uh, Shen might actually fall here. No, he should get away. Yeah, they focused so much on uh, Hazoops yeah. on the Reyna yeah, and focused didn't focus on anything else. Yeah. That was, I think, the problem. Of course, you have to go for Reyna, but if you don't get him uh, fast enough, it's gonna get really rough in the following team fight. So, yeah, still two levels ahead now and they're gonna get 15 coins in uh, after this golem. But yeah, they're gonna get... Ah, oh, even the easy camp looks like um, Yuruke as the Abatha is gonna solo it. Yeah, I love seeing this. Locusts are so <laughs> strong. Boy, you can just hide back there. Everything's yeah. good. <laughs> Yeah, you can even creep the hard camp like this. Uh, it's quite, it's quite oh, strong. You might actually. be seeing a little bit of an engagement here at the turning point. Uh, oh, nice engage on on Rega. Oh, so much damage coming in, but he stays alive. No, focus damage is way too good. Moby is oh. a little bit trapped there on the on the lower side, but Tira moves in with with the support of Amphir. He stays alive, but a good engagement uh, for Heroes War. Yeah, we saw so much damage coming in there from the yeah. Zebu heroic. It's incredible. If the other team is a little bit slowed, uh, you can't do anything about it. And they weren't uh, in a good position to fight there, so uh, it's not that it's not that good actually that Riga felt there. I think oh. he had ten coins. That was pretty close, though. The top four almost fell, but uh, with that last fight, Heroes was catching up a little bit. Up to seventeen, uh, four is well met. Gonna uh, level up to to 19 here pretty soon, and oh, Rainer uh, might be extending a little bit here. What? They will get Shen. Oh, no! Oh, oh. close yeah. call. Uh, really nice storm earth and fire here. Yeah, Ni nice evade going for that. Um, I mean, this makes their next engagement a little bit weaker, but uh, if they can if they can uh, come somehow stall that, they're gonna be in a good spot. Hardcam now being crept here by Heroes War, and they are again on the def more defensive spot. 
problem with this is that they won't get uh, the yeah the chests, or maybe they're gonna get uh, the top chest. Well, they might get top chest. Uh, let's see. Uh, they get in a good spot, but yeah, Wormat is just gonna pay up. Uh, they do have enough to get that next barrage going. Oh, there's the oh, there's the stun. Let's see. No, Odin form stops everything. And now they move back. And wow, Wormat is on the retreat. Can they can they grab everything up? Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> can't really see what's going on right <laughs> yeah, there. Yeah, very nice stun, obviously, there on the Zebo stopping the ultimate. The Zebo gets away, but my Furin will go down. And, oh, Shen is trapped back here. Looks like he might get away uh, with a dash. Oh, it's a turnaround, actually. Zok is being focused out, but he gets away uh, with a nice uh, nice evade ability for him. And Tyrael putting some decent damage onto Raynor, but Tychus falls, and with that, Tyrael's gonna fall as well. Soaking up so much damage. Oh! Oh, that was close. Twenty getting no three points. Yeah, Re uh, without the help of other Abatha, um, Arthas would have died there. Yeah, but yeah, he definitely. really helped out a lot. But now with almost the entire team gone, I think they can just go for the Nexus snipe. Yeah, uh, it looks uh, like it's only Mazibo uh, missing, yeah, and they also Cannonball in Barrage incoming. So, wow, so much damage coming in. They're just gonna take this. Yeah. Um, nothing Nazibu can do, and still 10 points even on Zocke. Quite convincing win here. Yeah, wow. Really, really well played here by Wellmat. Um, nice little initiation into the, uh, well, not really the HPL, but maybe they're gonna play next season. Uh, they definitely had a strong showing uh, in this show match, and uh, I really like to see more of them. So let's hope they're gonna participate in the next season of the Heroes Premier League. Um, yeah, let's have a look at these at these fights that um, transpired in, in the last game because we had some amazing fights going on. Uh, just give me a sec here. Um, get those going. Okay. All right, let's jump ahead. Yeah, I think uh, happened somewhere up here, where they tried to get uh, the gank on while they were doing the boss, and everyone's just moving in. And uh, this was the engagement where they uh, focused a little bit too long on Rainer, so they're waiting for them to come out. Um, maybe not the best idea because they did have the upper hand, but I think they were waiting for Malfurion, who was still missing. And um, yeah, now they they're trying to move in. Uh, kind of baiting them in towards, uh, well, whatever remains of their fort. Uh, let's see, maybe did I, did I miss it? Or was that another? Oh, no, wait, this is the engagement where Arthas overextended. So let's see his reasoning here. Uh, Tyrael is out there, and he sees that Nazebo is back there, and he just dashes past everyone and tries to get the kill on Nazebo, and the heroic is on him. Uh, Odin fires on him, so eventually he just has to go down. And he takes a long time, but I mean, this was actually a nice sacrifice, because because um, he drew everyone out of position, and this allowed the the remainder of the team to stay alive. So so I do like the sacrifice, and well, they almost uh, got Shen in exchange, not quite. But this was maybe the only uh, real blunder they had if you want to call it that. But in the end, they, um, well, almost everyone except for Arthas got away, so um, it was an okay uh, engagement, an okay turnaround. All right, uh, let's have a look at some of these other replays. Um, okay, I want to see where, where I save this. Oh yeah, okay, so this is when and they got a little bit surprised down there uh, by the hard camp. So um, I like this positioning by Heroes War because they came in um, and like uh, Wellmet had no idea they were coming in. And immediately going into Odin. And Shen's moving in. We have the um, the heroic here uh, by uh, by Nazebo played out. 
Unfortunately, he, get, he did get the zombie wall off, but everything was all so clumped up that it, it still worked out. And now I think uh, it, li it fell apart a little bit, because Arterial falls, and then uh, we have only Shen remaining down here, and uh, I don't know, he, he falls pr uh, pretty quickly, um, except going into his Heroic. Saves him for a little bit longer, and yeah, okay, here we have the Abathur, and that's why I got confused. Because <laughs> here is Abathur uh, dying. I thought I saw him dying, but it was just the, the copy, of course. And here we have a nice decision making by Nomi, because he wanted to go for, uh, for Tigus. And he was always following him around, and this time they didn't switch targets. So um, Tychus did fall, and he, he drew everyone out again. So it worked out a second time. And now Tychus and Tyrael are gone, so it's only Shen remaining to soak up the damage. Um, his heroic is uh, is over, so he falls way way too uh, way too quickly. And now Nazebo, of course, just trapped down there, uh, no chance whatsoever. Okay, and last replay. Let's check out what happened here. I am. I think I like these uh, preemptive um, Odin, uh, Odin forms by Heroes War because they, they really force a nice engagement. And uh, he did get some decent damage off and not getting quite getting everyone, but um, still still doing a good job. Now Nomi catches a lot of damage again. Um, but I like how, um, how the Abathur plays this out because he always tries to get behind everyone and uh, tries to, um, well, somehow trap them back there. Yeah, I think Abathur did a really good job this game. Yeah, they, they have a good, really good Abathur. And Shen, um, for, for Heroes War, I mean, he always had a good timing for his, for his heroic forms, but he, I feel like he was extending a little bit um, in most of these engagements. Okay, there we have um, the follow-up, and they got Malfurion. So I like how they uh, how they really did a good job focusing everyone here. And then, well, Shen tries to get away, not quite getting him. And I mean, once once the first uh, once 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 the first of these uh, warrior type falls, it's just uh, everything falls apart. And then the nice evade here by Zaka, getting away, Hasuop's playing the Raiders, and I think they finally got the kill on the Zebo as well. Ah, uh, no, he got away. But they, get, they did get Tychus in that exchange. Alright, so um, that was that for the, for the show match, and uh, we should get started with the final match for tonight. Um, 